We all know that the new Thar is a brilliant machine off-road with its high ground clearance, smart 4x4 system and flexible wheel articulation. But apart from that, it should serve another purpose which is a daily commute. So apart from river wading and rock crawling, can the Thar actually go to the shops and sit you in traffic? Let's find out. The first test was how does it fare against a drive through Need to get some oily, fatty fast food to calm my soul. I genuinely haven't had lunch. It's 3 p.m. and uh, I'm actually going to order the sloppiest, most American meal I can order. So I'm on my way to the McDonald's drive through Let's see. Hello. Yes. Uh, can I get a 20 piece chicken uh, nuggets and a large max spicy chicken meal? Uh, that's it. So now that I've picked up my order, I'm just going to show you all the practicality of the car, how many cubby holes you've got and quite a lot of space you've got to be honest. So let me just show you where all my food can fit. My drink, you got a really nice two cups over here, I've got a cubby hole on the door, my burger and my nuggets fit right here. After I had my delicious meal that will mostly give me a heart condition, I headed down to the shops to get myself some groceries. I'm a guy in my 20s, so my definition of grocery shopping is literally some bread, some noodles, and an energy drink. The Thar does fit my uh, necessities because I really don't have much to carry. But if you're a mature man or woman that needs to carry quite a lot of stuff, the Thar's boot is not for you, but you can. Uh, fold down the rear seats and it becomes a two-seater with 600 litres of boot space. The Thar is a fairly easy car to drive in the city. With its high ground clearance, you don't have to stop for speed breakers and with its relatively short wheelbase, it is quite easy to fit into tight spaces. Visibility is the main issue you have to tackle. With its 90 degree windshield, long bonnet and fat C pillars, the Thar is quite difficult to see out of. You quickly realize that the suspension also isn't made for urban environments. The Thar is super bouncy and nose heavy while braking. This will of course be of some advantage in off-road situations where flexibility and wheel articulation matter but in the city it feels like you're strapped into a trampoline sometimes. Maybe this is just my personal preference, but bouncy suspension isn't my cup of tea. You do get quite a lot of attention from the car because it is quite eye-catching. You don't get quite a lot of go. It's very a very talky engine. It will take hills. It will take uh, any form of uh, incline, decline, no problem. However, this is quite a yoy and pitchy car that uh, could get annoying in traffic. I personally don't like the bouncy feeling when you're just going through a little tough, uh, a rough patch of road. But uh, otherwise, the experience is pretty sedate. The interior as well is uh, quite nice. It's quite minimalistic. Uh, the plastics feel quite nice and rugged. The interior carries the concept of rudimentary and basic with rugged plastics and basic functions. The infotainment screen is okay, but nothing too special, but the instrument cluster can pull up some really cool information. 
The real reason why the car has no go is mainly because of the gearbox. It's a 6-speed auto unit which is very lethargic during gear changes but can handle the torque very well. The engine is the MHOC 2.2 liter turbo diesel which has 130 horsepower and 300 newton meters of torque which is more than enough for quick bursts of acceleration. The car is obviously four wheel drive which is great for conquering mountains but a little unnecessary to drop your kids to school. Talking about the design, the design stays quite reminiscent to the old uh, Thar. However, there has been quite a lot of controversy because of the front end. This front end does look quite a lot like the signature grille in the Jeep uh, and it does have quite a Bronco design. So quite a lot of people have uh, mentioned that uh, this car looks very unoriginal and it looks like it's been just a lot of bits and bobs from other companies that make cars that look like this. However, I still think that in the flesh, it looks very original and different to all the others because it has a little touch of modernity to it. From the side profile, you can really notice the short wheelbase of the Thar, as well as these really nice 18 inch rims with really, really fat tires that make the car look nice and tall, as well as these nice squared wheel arches on the front and round wheel arches on the rear, which are quite asymmetric in my opinion. However, the car has been modernized to look a bit more 21st century with a few more curves and a few touches all over to make the car look just a bit more modern. It still looks like an old Thar, but with a little paint scheme and uh, better finishing out on the outside. There is a lot of stickering and a lot of badging, badging mostly, because you will see Thar badges everywhere on the front on the rear on the sides so you're never gonna miss out that this is a thar the thar is a great machine if you're a young adult in their late 20s and don't have too many responsibilities like kids if you can ignore the thar's bouncy ride which is quite possibly its only drawback apart from it being a two-door the thar is a great vehicle in the urban jungle and of course the actual jungle as well thank you so much for watching this video this is bhavneet i will see you in the next one